everyone, Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Welcome to today's Now or Wow video. Now yesterday I shared with you my Now video and this is my Now version, a flashcard version of a really simple and quick Christmas card and it is a really sweet card. But check out the Wow version of the card. Can you see this really beautiful uh, snow on the branches and the snow on my um, snowflakes with that deep navy coming through. Well, I'm going to share with you how to do that today. So now we're going to be creating the wow version of our now and wow. All right, my cardstock pieces for today. I have a piece of Knight of Navy that is cut five and a quarter, or I'm sorry, five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's a quarter size sheet of Knight of Navy. I have two flashcard pieces. Now, if you're not familiar with flashcards, just head on over to YouTube and search Connie Stewart flashcards. You'll see how we all keep these pieces on hand and we use them to create hundreds of different cards. It's fantastic. But these pieces, just so you know, my Knight of Navy is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. My Whisper White is two and a half by four inches. So that's those pieces there. My last piece we have to work with is our Whisper White. It's cut eight by five and a quarter and I've scored it at four inches. All right, now the first thing we're going to want to do is we're gonna take our card base and we are going to emboss it using the new filigree frame embossing folder. Now this image is just barely gonna fit in there from side to side and top to bottom. So you are gonna kind of look at your score line there and line that up. You're gonna run that through your Big Shot and um, now we're going to work with our Whisper White. Now um, we're going to be using a stamp set called, whoops, I dropped it. Let me try that again. White Christmas, really a fantastic stamp set. We're going to use the trees and the snowflake, but I'll tell you what, there's so much in this set. I think you're going to come up with a lot of different ideas for it. Um, I've mounted them on my clear block E. You can see I've kind of mounted it on there along with the uh, thinks, uh, thinking of you at Christmas. I kind of shared how to do that in my previous video, the now version of the video. And I have stamped that on my cardstock so I'm all ready to go. Well, now we're going to do a little bit of fun work. All right, stick with me. Welcome to the world's cheapest crown. We're talking dollar store cheap. I'm sure I picked these up probably at a dollar store somewhere, but you want the cheapest crowns you can. There is a reason for my madness. We're gonna be uh, coloring, of course it's white on white, so it's gonna be a little difficult to see. And um, this is called a crown resist technique. And all I'm going to do is come along on the top of the branches and draw a little color line. Really what we're going for, we're just using cheap wax is what we're really after. Now I am gonna give you another little tip. When you're doing this, it's very easy, easy to uh, not see what you're doing <laughs> because it is white and um, really it's almost practically clear on here. So just kind of keep yourself moving um, down. Uh, that way you don't miss anything, okay? And um, so we've done that, and you know what, guys? I really should have stamped my, um, my snowflakes first. I'm so sorry. We're just gonna bring in an early espresso. It's fine, it's not gonna affect anything that I didn't do it yet. Let me bring in my Stampin' Mat. And real quick, I'm just gonna get some snowflakes on here. And, whoops, could've gone a little harder on that one. All right, like I said, it's not gonna affect anything that I've already done, so I'm I'm perfectly happy with my little error there. All right, so I've got that on there. Now we're gonna take that same crown and we're just going to make dots on our snowflake. And just as I said before, keep yourself going in a pattern because it'll be real easy to lose track of what snowflake you colored on and which ones you haven't. So I'm just kind of going up and down. Um, and don't worry about getting things perfect. Uh, that's what really makes this technique awfully pretty. So, all right, I will finish coloring in some snowflakes. We'll be back in a minute. All right, I have that done. Now, mine I did pick up just a little bit of um, this little uh, snow bank here, so I'm going to hit that as well. All right, we have that done. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in with two post-it notes. I'm going to start with one, and I'm going to take my one and a quarter inch circle punch, and I want to stay down here right where that adhesive is on the post-it because I kind of need that. So we're done with that one. Now I'm going to take another post-it note 
and I'm going to go right smack in the middle. No need to measure or anything. We're really just using this as a mask. And now I'm going to come in with a crushed curry ink pad and a stampin' sponge. I'm going to take that mask. There's my sticky side. I want to keep that where it will um, be on my cardstock and on my paper. That's going to keep this from shifting around on me. I'm going to ink that up, and as I start, I just want you to tap. The biggest thing I've got to tell you with that crown is we don't want to wipe it off yet. We're going to be doing some techniques where we're going to be wiping it off here in a minute, but right now we don't want it to wipe off. Can you see that popping through? Now I don't want to rub because if I rub at this point, I really might run the risk of rubbing uh, my crown off and I don't want to do that. Not yet anyway. All right, so there's my fabulous moon shining through. Now it is time for my night of navy magic okay i'm going to i'm going to bring this mat in just so i don't make a huge mess and we're going to take some night of navy ink i'm going to tap off just a little bit because i don't want it to come out too harsh and let's just start to tap whoops 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 oh i gotta cover up my moon or i'm gonna have a blue moon blue moon you saw me standing okay got that covered up so we protect that that's very important all right tapping off and i'm just tapping that night of navy ink on here. As I get down to the bottom, I want to be just a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna use a little bit lighter touch, make sure I'm not getting that too dark. At this point, very carefully, I'm using a really light touch, guys, really light. Again, I don't want any of that crown to come off yet. Again, down here, using a very, very light touch. Just sponge my color so that we get a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? We want it to cascade down a little bit in that color. Awesome. Okay, moving that out of the way. I'm going to remove my mask. And now, are you ready for some magic? I'm going to take just a tissue, and I'm going to start rubbing that crown right off of there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. We get that off, and now I have the look of snow. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm now going to come in with a soft suede marker and we're going to color in the tree. And this marker, the reason I wanted to go soft suede, there's some really great um, branch marks, some tree marks and stuff. And I don't want, I don't want to cover that up. So we're going to cover that. Ooh, did you see how my snow bank came out really pretty too? And now we can just get all those branches. So let me finish coloring this. All right, I've got some snail adhesive on the back of that. We're going to layer this on our Knight of Navy. And we can now bring in our card base. All right, I'm gonna add my Whisper White onto that quarter sheet of Knight of Navy. And now we can add our fabulous and beautiful Crown Resist Snow Scene. And we'll center that up. I will tell you, you have to be a little careful with this frame. Before I press it down, I want to take a good look at it and make sure I'm all centered. It's very easy to, with all those swirls going on, sometimes it plays tricks on your eyeballs. Guys, that is all there is to it. I can stamp a little bit more here on the inside. So let me go ahead and bring in my now and my wow. What do you think? I just think this is a fantastic and a must-have stamp set for this year. It is beautiful. So I hope you'll give that crown resist a try. Again, the trick is cheap, cheap crowns. That's what we're going for. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's Now or Wow video, and I hope you guys enjoy that one, and maybe that's a card you're going to send to someone special. Maybe your mother-in-law. Maybe you need to really impress her that you really can do something amazing. So <laughs> thanks so much for being here. Remember, you can find all the supplies I use today at simplysimplestamping.com. You can order right there through my website and have those products delivered to your door and you're going to have some fantastic Christmas cards this year's guys. I'm telling you, check it out. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.